Well, here we are at the VW Nut Parts Washing Station. Um, what we've got here is just a little bit of uh, purple power, some fresh water, scrub brush, paint brush. There's a toothbrush in there. Um, and we've been scrubbing some of the tins. Uh, this is the purple power that I'm using. Uh, came highly recommended. So that's what I'm using. Seems to be working pretty good. Um, I got a couple of them hanging outside in the rain, just hanging outside, kind of washing, rinsing, and drying. Um, the cylinder head tin and the uh, and the intake, and we'll get those um, dried off, scuffed up, and ready for paint, and we'll do some of that. Um, I won't bore you guys with the parts washing, but uh, my silent wind chimes will hang here, and uh, I will get some more parts washed. Well, those pieces right there have all been washed and degreased and they've been dried and they're sitting there waiting to be scuffed. And that is a pretty big pile compared to the pile that used to be right here that was the parts that needed to be cleaned. We're down to the heater boxes in the parts bathtub. And we still need to clean the block and the cylinders. But we got some tins out here hanging up and drying and a heater box hanging up and drying and uh, that's the update well here's what we got now in here both of these right here that's the heads um, and then I got a little bit of the uh, purple power and a spray bottle here and I'm just gonna spray the block down now for uh, every hour or every couple of hours for the rest of today and let it drip right there in that big pan and let that purple power get in everywhere and then we'll come back tomorrow and scrub her down good get her good and cleaned out well here we are this is the um, cleaning station right here we're uh, sanding and grinding and cleaning all the rest of the grime off still got a pile of parts over here with the block um, the block is considerably cleaner than it was. Uh, we'll get to that one piece at a time, that and the heads. But it's like going to be 90 today, so that's maybe a good day for some spray paint. So, as you can see right over here where we had the parts drying area, we now have the spray painting area. Um, so that's scuffed and red and degreased, and uh, we'll see if we can't make it great. Already looking better. There are no shortage of videos out there if you guys want to um, learn how to spray paint with a spray can. Um, what I do is several light coats and that's what I go with. Well the intake's got a couple of coats on it now and it's coming out really sweet. And uh, so we're moving on to the uh, valve covers. We got them all sanded down and ready for um, they're supposed to be black, so we'll paint them black, not red. Well, now we're getting somewhere. We got cylinder head tin, black valve covers, silver or gray intake. Patina is here. She's hooked to the clothesline because she gets a little bit wild sometimes. But the paint is coming out fantastic. Well, the intake has been flipped around and gotten some coats and flipped and these have been rotated and flipped around, the valve covers and the engine tin and I don't know, it's probably the middle of the day so everything will get a few more coats uh, before I'm all set and done. Well, I brought this stuff in from the drying rack and it came out really nice. The uh, intake looks really good. Valve covers and cylinder head tin are up there. I still got a ton of this mess to clean up and some of those to clean and paint and some of those to clean and paint and some of that to clean and paint. So I'm going to get to it, but I think I probably have enough for this video. So I'd like to thank you guys. I'm not sure what you're looking at right now, but I'd like to thank you guys again for coming by the VW Nut Garage and we'll get to painting and cleaning and get this put back together and I'll bring you guys back and uh, we'll see you on the next one.
Well, I know I said goodbye and all that and thank yous and all that, but uh, I need to take this here deck lid off. And so I thought I'd bring you guys back. And the reason I'm taking this deck lid off is because I'm not sure why this piece of sheet metal is, um, is there. So we need to get that sheet metal off of there. But in order to see clearly how it's attached to Daisy, I need to remove the deck lid. So I'm going to do that. I have a very sketchy situation right here. Very sketchy pit bull right there. And uh, we'll see if we can't mouse trap myself. Back in action. There was uh, nothing showing on the inside firewall as far as like holes cut or uh, rust or damage to the package tray. I'm um, not, I, I don't know if it was like a 1980s do it yourself engine uh, dress up kit. I'm not sure. Careful, this is spring loaded. Got it. smooth. Alright, so as you can see, I'm not sure why um, you guys remember how that was with the Alright, sorry for the uh, break in the action. I heard something out front I had to go see. And my dog came with me. So you guys remember how that was. Uh, it's the lovely shade of blue and it sat in there just like that. Probably supposed to sit like that, but this one was like that. But either way, headed off to paint. Now, I can see some rivets here, but they don't... I mean, maybe a couple of them are holding, like that one, maybe one of these, and a couple of those. So 
So we'll drill them out and see what happens. I got it. I got it. Thank you. I'm going to get a different, uh, all right, back in action. I should just about do it, I would think. Oh. I'm gonna get another drill bit. Back in action. I'm right in.
Well, I honestly have no idea why it was there. Um, the firewall seems to be intact. It seems to look good. Uh, hard sand. Um, but it's out of there now. All right, so I'd like to thank you guys again for coming by the BW Nut Garage. And uh, we'll go back to cleaning and painting parts. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.